everyone, it's Miss Allison. I'm here with my apron on today to do a messy craft with you. So we know that the holidays are fast approaching and that some of you will want to do decorations. So what I've got is these plastic orbs. They pop together and you can decorate them. You can hang them from a Christmas tree or around a mantle. If you're not into Christmas, you can do any kind of patterns with them and it'll all be beautiful. So what I've got here is some normal Almer's glue. You can see this is an old one, so we're gonna use up the rest of it. So we're going to pour this into a plastic cup or a glass bowl or some other mixing vessel. Okay, you can use as much or as little as you want, depending on how much paint you'll need. So I'm going to be doing blue because I like blues. And I'm just going to add a little bit of food coloring. Then, seeing here, we're going to mix this up. So, even though the glue is white, it'll dry clear, leaving the only color to be the paint you add in. All right, that looks like we're getting somewhere. Let's scrape the sides down. Okay, so we have glue paint. So we're going to take one of our orbs. Now you can paint the inside or the outside. I think I'm gonna paint the inside. Other fun things you can do are use tape to mark off certain areas. You can like pour the paint in it and roll it around to cover it. There's all kinds of ways you could do this. The more food coloring you put in, the darker your color will be, and the less and thinner you layer it, the lighter your color will be. So I think I'm gonna do this and then maybe take like a Sharpie to the outside or something. Maybe give it polka dots. What do you guys think? Blue with polka dots be cool? Maybe I could find like a silver Sharpie and make it all glittery looking. So. We're going to do this. You can hold on to the outside or this little handle if you're painting the inside. If you're painting the outside, just flip it around. So you just want to try to get a thin, even coat. I'm going to make a light movements to try to smooth out some of my lines here. And you can always put a second coat on if you want. Okay. So I'm going to set that to the side, leave it to dry. In the meantime, I'm going to work on the next one. All right, so you're going to let these dry for a really long time. And then you're going to put a second coat on. So you can see that there's some thinness here. I've got kind of a star shape where I brushed in. You're going to want to get all that covered with your second coat. And then you can put your halves together. You'll want to line that up so that you've got something to hang it from. And there you go, a decorative ball. Okay, so that is our craft today. I hope you enjoy it. I'm Miss Allison from the Southeast Branch, and I will see you all next time.